again, I was I was expecting to be a little bored, you know what I mean? Because I was there just pretty much for the the, the, the rematch. Yeah. But all of it was good. It was all really, really, really fun to watch and entertaining and education. Uh, I know you would have done it. You would have done it. I would for sure. Mm-hmm. Ever, have you ever thought about, because you're pretty successful, have you ever thought, I think you got kids and stuff, so you're probably not as rich as you should be, but have you ever thought, because you like fighting and stuff, do you ever think about, uh, because I know that you're uh, potentially, uh, you got some anger issues. You're, sure. You're a dark guy from you time to time. That. I could, I could, I'm kind of scared to say it, but it's true, and that's just the way it is. Have you ever thought of maybe hiring people to fight you at breakfast? <laughs> to start so the day? To fight me at breakfast? Yeah, because, look. That aren't my children. No, 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 don't beat your uh, children up. I'm saying you yeah, children fight me in the morning. Well, what's the, this is a little bit before the kids are after the kids. This is a little area where you go into this other room and you're having your breakfast. But right before your breakfast starts, motherfuckers come out looking to mix it up. You pay them, and they come out at a certain time when the kids aren't around, and you have a fight, and you you beat them or you don't beat them every day. And that's how you start your day. So you're you're an actual fight or a sporting. Yeah. No, fight. you when you eat your cereal, you've got um, MMA gloves on. And your mouth guards on the table because you know that it's probably going to happen pretty soon. Don't uh, you think that'd be good therapeutically for you? I don't know if every day it would be. What about once a week? week? Once a week? Once a week? Once a month? Maybe. What about if we back it down a little bit here? Everlasting, we have say a guy come in and he tries to fucking choke you out, and you're always wearing your pajamas in the morning. I, I assume everlasting. Or a robe. Or they choke you out with a robe on. That's how you start your day, but that's what I really want to do. Is this a company you're thinking of starting or something? I'm thinking about, I'm not even joking, I mean, this whole bullshit radio thing, things really go where they could go. I will hire people to find me in the morning, and we will slug it out every morning. Every now and then I get, like, clips. Because I'm foreseeing, like, this crazy, uh, this Hollywood workout craze right right? now, where, like, stars hire people to come and get Jason Ellis and his crew to come beat them up every morning. With your publicity behind... Excellent, thank you very much. Oh, we're not even realize I didn't say hello. Don't even worry about it. Fuck, Tully. Everybody say <laughs> Where was I? Hey, am I in the dark? Oh, Tully, where, is, where, where, where is where's, where's uh, Raw Dog? He quit. He quit. I, dude, I haven't been listening. I've been gone. Where, where I, oh, okay. Go finish this and then we'll get into that. <laughs> the Hollywood. Where I, I can totally see, like, when it's Paul Tro, like, Yeah, high, no, high, you high. back it down a little bit where, because to me, if I get lit up a little bit, that's I'm sick, and I understand that. But if, it was, if I backed it down a little bit, and you know, you took some leg kicks, these guys were better than you, but they fucking gave you a workout. So you fought for your fucking life. Not your life, but you're getting a bit of a shit whipping, and you're dishing one out, and then when, it, when they know that you've had a good workout and a good ass whipping, then they just leave. Whether you win or lose, you get you pay money to have people come over your house. I totally understand what you're saying and why why it would be beneficial to cats like maybe you and me. But I honestly do see like you you do that you could get a little craze started with that right there. You should, you should you should think about that. We get it on extra extra or something. We're like, hey, Jason Ellison, so and so doing the new uh, kick your ass workout. Yeah, like is, is there really an extra extra? Oh no, I think that's just the song. There's another extra extra. You could scale it down like just have like some women hire some women that are pretty good at MMA to go over. To, you know, Paris Hilton pays them and they go over there and give her a couple of leg kicks and try to choke her out and shit with her with her. Uh, Pajamas on. Shit's right. on. And when you get good at it, you like dispatch the first couple of guys that are just straight stock ninjas, and then like the leader guy will come out. And to be good, you guys get three. Oh, you get like a certificate. It's like working your way up to the title fight. You get a title fight, and the, the sweetest thing about it is you don't know when it's gonna happen, but every now and then you're on the train coming home from work, and there he is. It's time, my friends. It's time for your, you know what I mean for your chance at the title. Full on fucking fight in the fucking train. That'd be kind of sweet, dude. right? That'd be kind of sweet. He end up getting him. He lets you get him. You fucking knee him in the face a couple times, punch him in on the ground. Then you go home with your certificate of ass whooping. Then the uh, the Jason Ellis work certificate of working out <laughs> hey, like an asshole. Hey, dude, you might be staring at a fortune right now, dude. <laughs> There's not that many. Oh, there is some dumb people with money out there. Because it's two, that's what's hard about. Go, I mean, just, uh, not, it's not the equivalent, but there's there's people who go to 
boot camp type workouts and getting salted and, and, and pumped into be getting into shape. It's yeah. almost the same type thing. It's just somebody who desires a little more extremity in it. Yep. I'd be really into that. I've always wanted to be a trainer, like a bad trainer. Because I see trainers at, at gyms before that aren't as good at fighting as I am. And I, and I think, well, if he can do it, I can do it. I, mean, I can put you through a workout that'll get you fit. And this guy, at least, at least I know how to hold pads. At least I know what it looks like when you're throwing a punch correctly. These fucking assholes are just like, oh, especially legs that are trying to like tighten their buns up. Just hit the pad. Don't worry about how you're doing it. Just get your hand to touch the pad. That's all we're looking to do. So I'm already at that level. And, and it looks like, uh, you know, sometimes I used to train with, uh, with Justin. He would just sort of sit there with the stopwatch and talk to other people. And every now and then he'd go, change! You know what I mean? And I'd go into the rest of whatever I was supposed to do. And I'd be looking up at him going, this doesn't seem like a bad job. You know, he hangs out all day, talks to me. About, you know what I mean? Fucking punching people and how everyone's a pussy compared to me. And, and uh, we laugh about it. And change, motherfucker! You know, <laughs> he just gasses people out. Because at lunch, I, I, to me, I love the gym at Moss. Everyone's cool there, talking about fighting, and I could deal with it. Maybe I probably couldn't have it with my job, but it seems it seems peaceful to me. I'd like to own a well, gym. Well, you're going there by choice. You're, you're, you're choosing every day to go there. I'm just saying compared to, like, normal jobs. Oh, hell yeah. You know? Better not, you know. You're out there. Flipping burgers. Better. Yeah. Like, all the guys I know that go to gyms every day, like Kenji. You know, Kenji goes to the gym, and he rolls with people, and he punches and kicks people all day. That's yes. all he does. That's his job. To make that much money, but every day he gets to. I, I don't know. So I know who I am. Would I like to go to the gym all day and hang out and talk shit about kicking and punching, and then occasionally kick and punch and choke everybody? Right. Yeah. Yeah, that would work. Right. They say you know if you do what you love, then you're not really working. And Kenji's the kind of guy who, if Kenji won the lottery tomorrow, he'd probably he'd be still a go to the gym fortune tomorrow morning right, yeah. for sure with like a gold gate. <laughs> which, is what, which is what you should have. The beard cream seems to be taking for I'm you there. I'm starting, I'm, I didn't know how to make a beard. Probably I was explaining to my new beard friend that because I'm like a weird white guy that got into hip hop at the, at the start of my facial hair life, I kept it low, like yours, because you're a hip hop guy, so it's lower. But if you want to get a real beard, you have to go up higher. And I did not know any of this. So I'm starting, I've got to grow this neck bit down, right. and I have to grow this top bit out, and I have to leave my mustache alone, and I put this fucking oil on it. I'm going to give it a real go. This is this is my one time at, can I make a full beard? It's not that bad. I'm mentally dedicated to it, because I hate when hair gets near my fucking mouth and shit. But I'm dedicated to. I'm gonna do it a few times. I'm trying to just. I've tried to just go naked, natural beard. Yeah. I get about maybe a month or two in, and it just feels so filthy that I just am washing it all the time, and then I just go to hell with it and shave it. You got to trim it and put the oil in it, and then it's not annoying. Cause that's it. I get it. As soon as I get to the bar, I'm like, oh my god. My whole face is just fuzzy. And dirty. Yeah. And oily. Yeah, like, gotta, the oily part is what gets to me. I wash it. It feels so much more oily. I wash my beard because I don't have any hair ever last. So I you wash it with soap or do you use shampoo? with shampoo. So. A, <laughs> I, think, I think we all saw that. Guy. I lathered that shit up, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Rinse and repeat? Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, I'll God. put some conditioner in that. <laughs> all right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. All right. All right. What happened? I oh. missed, I missed, we have forgive me, yeah, I there's missed. There's so many people that are getting an erection right now, it's ridiculous. <laughs> um, well, there's only, yeah, sure, there's only really so much that we can or should say without somebody else here to represent right, right, right. Other things. I okay. think it's probably Fair just enough. safe to say that uh, Raw Dog decided that the job wasn't something he, he was interested in the doing. The trust fund opened up, right? He got the whole thing. No, right? no, 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 it's got nothing to do with that. <laughs> I think he, he just the decided that. the job wasn't the job wasn't working for him anymore, and he wanted to pursue other stuff. Right. Oh man. Okay. This is sad looking though to me right now. That was really well done, Tom. <laughs> was I okay. done with tact and taste? Oh, you know us, Everlast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really <laughs> smoothly done. Oh man. Well, yeah. you know, I guess they will never cover the Doobie Brothers again, man. It's over. It's over. Yeah. It's been a while. I mean, uh, uh, maybe I can get him in the band. Maybe I can get him in my band. He might be available. Might be able. No, he gave you giving him a boner now. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead and you do your thing over there. Just make sure it stays over there. Uh, oh, okay. We're talking later. Anyway. Yes. 
So, do you, are you on the road more, or are you done? Uh, I'm I'm home for a bit now, man. Uh, you know, I mean, we've been I've been dealing with some issues at the house, man. There's nothing to get into, but I mean, everything's all right. And my daughter health wise, it's been some psychological issues about you know you gotta keep weight on these kids with the kids with cystic fibrosis yeah. and whatnot. Um, so we've kind of always pushed the food, and I think there's like some pushback at this moment. So we're like falling back and trying to figure out how not to give her issues over food and her oh, life, okay. you know what I mean? And it's just hard. It's just, I mean, I'm, I don't, don't want to get too heavy or anything like that, just, but like, you know, it's like my last couple of weeks has been spent trying to figure out how to tell the four-year-old you're making life and death choices, you know what I mean? Which is almost, a, it basically is impossible. Yeah. You know I mean? But the four-year-old doesn't even know what life and death is. My daughter knows she has cystic fibrosis, but she doesn't know what that is. Yeah. So it's, you know, she knows that it's the reason she has to do all the crazy things she does. But at the same time, it's like, it's natural at her age just for that starting to want to push back a little. That four or yeah. five-year-old, you're like, they want to start developing their own universe and they're all, which is, I encourage fully, but it's like these few things you can't, you can't, you can't just abandon. You can't stop. It's, it's, it's a real tricky thing, man. It's, well, she's half you, man. You know, we got to have me and have my wife. He's, he might be this stubborn, if not more stubborn than me. Right. Well, will she agree to stay with you for the rest of her life? Right. That's you know, pretty stubborn. That, that, that took a lot of foot spot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of what? <laughs> foot spot. What the hell is that? I think it's a Yiddish word. Uh, my wife's half Jewish, so some, some of those sneak in. Foot spot? Foot spot. It's yeah. like gumption. Don't or, stop Will on the Jewish thing. He yeah. hates it. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah, he's got some great Jewish jokes. <laughs> Again, that's yeah, totally for us. If he's not Jewish, he yeah. shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> we tried telling him that. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, I do, I do joke is, is, he about, is he making hang the juice sign? Yes, that yes, that yes. yes. Is that string him up? Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah, there you walk. He was, he was like choking himself. That's like yeah. kill the Jews or something. Yeah, yeah. Huh? No, just wow. Just hop yeah. your walk anyway. Don't you pull walk. <laughs> <laughs> he loves him. He loves everybody. Will's a lover. It's all jokes. These are just jokes. Yeah, he loves... So yeah, I was happy when, when I married her because, you know, I can get away with some of the Jewish jokes. Now, oh, my wife's Jewish. She can't be mad at me. It's not like that's hot on the, on the uh, Asian community. And that's there pretty much go. the way it works. My wife is Japanese, yeah, so we get, get, a, get kind of a pass there. Yeah. I'll slap a Mexican because my kids are a quarter Mexican. So. Yeah. Right. I mean, I want to slap a Mexican guy for no reason. Saying I'll verbally bash a Mexican on the radio. And you'll fucking like it. And we used to have the Jewish pass, pass on the radio, but yeah. we haven't for a few yeah, months but now. Josh ruined the whole fucking thing. He's just yeah. killing our jokes. Yeah. <laughs> we can't even work it. Will, Will's only got Jew jokes in the green room. That's as, that's as far as we can push it now. <laughs> we can only laugh yeah. and hope that it wasn't too racial of a Jewish joke every time he, ca he cackles out there. It, it, there is, there's no such thing as not too racial of a Jewish joke. See, hear that, Will? Maybe turn it down, all right? Yeah, it's like maybe. dropping the end bomb if you ain't if you ain't a member of the tribe. Oh, uh, you black will. Mm. Please don't tell Everlast you're black. <laughs> Everlast, I got some bad news. <laughs> I heard him go like, please don't tell him that. Please. Will's black and he hates the Jews. <laughs> Why are you arguing? Why say you're black and you hate the Jews? Why the fuck is there even an argument there, dude? It's okay. Yeah, are you really concerned there's a contingent out there that are like forming a, a posse as we speak against you? Uh, we're gonna go O and A on you. It's his life to be paranoid. Because there are, and they're all Jews. Yeah, yeah the Jews have beef with you now, Will. Personally. Come, JDL is coming for you, man. Who's JDL? The Jewish Defense League, man. Oh, are they heavy? They're heavy, though. Yeah, Will, can you not bring uh, this show to their attention? I love everybody. <laughs> Seriously, dude. That's like, like having, it's, it's, it's just a little bit short of like having Glad on your ass. Okay, that's the people of the gays, the right? The gay and lesbian, whatever <laughs> AD, AD stands for. American... Gay and lesbian, I got the L. American... Association. Okay, association. Anti... Association for Anti-Defamation? Maybe. I mean, There's two ways, right. actually, isn't it? That would be association for anti-definition. Anti yeah, you're smart, dude. If I, assuming I'm That's right. why you wear a tie, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I, so it's it's, it's, it's like, it's like yeah. the smart people black yeah, belt. We, smart, have new <laughs> <laughs> we have new guests on the show. Was that, was that fresh? Was that right off the door right there? That, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm good for one of two that. A smart people's black belt. Yeah. Hey, he'll be here all day. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can, They don't let me leave. <laughs> this is 
a game where uh, we have teams, and the good part about your team is you have a teammate that's going to be doing the drawing, It's because this is shock pictionary, and what you do is you have a teammate who will be drawing for you, and you've got to guess what he's drawing, but the difference is, is the other team will have a remote that is controlling the electric dog collar around your teammate, and while he's drawing, uh, we're going to electrocute the living fuck out of him so he can't draw. Alright, and come towards my uh, teammate? Yeah, I don't well it makes sense. It makes, <laughs> it makes sense because you guys have so much in common. Don't let the yeah. name fool you. Cordry and I had a nice run at this. And of course me and Tally are the king and queen Rob of the Cordry? radio. Yeah. yeah. Are you just name dropping and not even saying the first name? <laughs> Me and Bobby Tino. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who just said that? Was it you come uh, yeah. Tully? <laughs> it's a bag of cum. What do you expect? When you think about it, he's God, actually... right. I didn't even think of that. I can't believe you can even talk, quite frankly. <laughs> All right, so this is based on time, so uh, Jed is going to keep time and see how long it takes him to get this done. Uh, do you guys have your uh, remotes yet? He doesn't I got have mine. He doesn't Ryan, you got yours? Another name. Yeah, I think you're shocking me, Jason. Come right, on. Let's see if. Uh, what am I doing? Spot on. Doesn't work. You're pushing the wrong button. No. Am I? Oh. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Uh, that seems to be working. Uh, so, Ryan, you're gonna be you're gonna be in this little check to see if mine works. <laughs> it's the one with the lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the lightning. Okay, press oh. that, Ryan. Ah, okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good. There's a little bit of a delay. Yeah, yeah so I know sometimes it's like two seconds to get over there. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it needs to be freshly charged to give it an immediate sure. Go right ahead. Alright, so let's start. Tell this guy. Tell these home alone. Who the fuck is one year old? You're not even sleeping. The damn bride's just randomly electrocuting you at will. This what? is good. I need this. Should there be a time limit uh, for if they can't guess it? No, you fucking vag. Until you die or, or guess it. <laughs> that was right. interesting. I've never seen Tully get shot before. Alright, so here we go. Really? Yeah. Uh, I played this game last time. Kind of I, was, I wasn't yeah. around. I wasn't around then. Right, I got start. it on there. Let's start with. Oh, God, fuck. Okay. Let's I'll just show my book. <laughs> my bad. Let's start with cup card drawing. Oh, I don't even get to pick mine. Brian, ready? All right, we're okay. Yes, go I'm familiar with Pictionary, obviously. Go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh! 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 Turned it up a little bit. Oh! Yes, he did. Oh, surprise you. Get you were used to the oh, other. You got this, Say stinky cheese? It's stinky cheese. No, no. <laughs> Ice cube? No. So, it's like you're not even trying to guess, right? I like your style, but then. What? No. Uh, the arrow pointing to a cube and then to a smaller. <laughs> I have no idea. This is a terrible drawing in, in, in your defense, plan. Yeah, really. No one here knows what it is. Uh-oh, it's supposed to be a movie or oh, oh, oh. a shotgun shell? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a, mar a marshmallow with antlers. Oh. God damn it! Oh. 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 This could be in the bag, Tally. Fuck! 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 These, these comic guys are very fucking useless when it comes to drawing a shotgun. It is kind of ironic that the comic book guys can't draw anything. I have no idea. <laughs> well, really, it really, only one reads them. The other one uh, makes them. So. Two double A batteries. No! Oh, yes! Oh, yes. Batteries! Yeah. Yeah. That, was that, was two. Two. that was a minute and ten seconds. Fuck! Wow. Man, it seemed longer. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did. Yeah, it really How did. was it for you, Kevin? <sighs> that the first one was the fucking bathroom. Right? You know when I tried to draw one of those big square ones that had the spider yeah. going No, I get it up? now, but it looked yeah. like... I, you probably oh, should have just started okay. with a fucking battery. Yeah, a lantern battery. <laughs> yeah, everybody uses lantern what? batteries. That was great. Oops. All right. Okay, I've only got so much. I guess I'm not going to say. Here, you want to take mine? You're going to electrocute yeah, Tully right. while he's trying to draw, and I'm Tully's guessing that, right? Hey, I need a word. Hey, you're like, you're like uh, defense for me guessing the pitch. Okay. okay. Go. Christmas tree. Thank you. Do not want to fuck with us, my friend. What was the time on that? That was two seconds. He picked the green pen, so I call bullshit on that. He was all ready. He was going to roll the ball time. You can feel my palm sweat all over. I've had this for a while. No, 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 
no more tricks. I'm picking the thing. <laughs> you handed me all the hard ones. What the fuck? That battery was hard? I know. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay, I'll choose this one. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you ready? Start better. Go. All right, let's Go. do it. Tornado. <laughs> the best. What was, was the time for Brian Posehn and started out? Two when he pulls the card like you did. But that was six seconds. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Wait, go. go. Uh, ball. Banana. Blue ball. Hot pot. This is a cord. Uh, word trouble. Bean. Bean ball. Bean bag. Bean uh, it is. I swear to God, it is. I swear. Red uh, red put it on the ball. Sure. I'm tired. It's not working. No. This one's hurt. I need to erase her. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you get stung in a weird way. Uh, it's Ow. so mellow. This terminology Ow. is Ow. Ow. Toast. Oh, you just turn it off. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's wait again. Turn the paper. The bucket. <laughs> this is all I can do. The cake. Okay. No, I have fun. We'll be here all day. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Then it's cylinder. <laughs> the dick dildo, furry, pubic hair, <laughs> dick pubic hair, waterfall. I don't blame you. It does look like that. Bananas, banana palm no. tree, corn. Yeah, corn on the cob. Corn, corn tortillas, uh, corn chips, and corn chip to corn, chip to corn, corn guacamole, salsa. Corn ghost! Corn face! Face corn! Corn on the cob! Corn! Corn for the little kernel! Corn kernels! Colonel Sanders!
Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, so what did that, how did that make you feel? It, I, I felt like 